This is the conference for the C++ community. Here we get to discuss with the standards community and with all of the innovators that are building C++ now and for the future, the innovations and opportunities that we have in our company, as well as the opportunities that they're exploring as an industry. Hi everyone. I started my career uh, with building C++ at JP Morgan while uh, using ClearMake at the time, Borland C++, Rogway tools uh, and other fun things. Hopefully some of you might still remember. Years later, my next step was Google where I learned about the Bazel build system and led its adoption as well as uh, that led me to starting a company called Enchflow which I'm a co-founder and CEO of together with Bazel's creator. As an engineer, your goal is to get things done. So for some strange reasons, build systems seem to elicit quite a range of emotions when I talk to engineers. Let's see. We partnered with a research firm to conduct a study of build system satisfaction. Developers don't really want to think about build systems, uh, which is what you see in this large gray neutrals. But they're also passionate detractors and promoters. And the winners, surprisingly, are actually behind the scenes so things like Goma and Ninja. But let's see if we can repeat this and get more accurate results. So NPS in action. Raise your hand if, you, if you're using CMake. Woohoo! <laughs> keep it up, keep it up if you're happy with it. You can lower it if you're not. OK. Raise your hand if you use Bazel. Amazing, we got a handful. Keep it up if you're happy. Okay, 50% of two, <laughs> or maybe five. All right, raise your hand if you use MS Build. All right, a good, good crowd. And keep it up if you're happy. Yeah, just, just about a couple. Uh, and raise your hand if you use a homegrown build system. I expected more, actually, from talking to various folks. And keep it up if you're still happy with it. Yeah. Like maybe you got promoted, and so you're still happy with it. So yeah, that, that counts. All right. So uh, often developer experience also depends on whether you're building local, in the cloud, or on-prem uh, hardware. And so just another quick uh, raise your hand if you're building your developer pipelines on-prem. Quite a lot. Wow. And uh, on, uh, on your uh, machines, all right, about almost the same. And uh, in the public clouds, Azure, GCP, AWS. All right, public cloud providers, they should be sponsoring this conference next time. So we've got, uh, we're always trying to learn uh, from, from our developer community. So if you would like to take a survey, take a photo of the slide, we're happy to give you also our limited edition uh, Basil Flags cards. Only 52 out of over 1,000 Basil Flags fit here, but happy to give those to you for helping us out. And uh, so, yeah, just, just, just to keep this page in case anyone wants to take a photo. So back to my build system journey. So comparing Bazel and CMake, you express your dependencies in config files. CMake is also a polyglot system. Bazel takes it to the next level with extensibility. And once you get over the learning curve, using Bazel makes something simpler like this terminal experience. Bazel has been designed for large scale code bases. And uh, uh, those span multiple languages, run on multitude of platforms. And it helps you drive incremental code practices, and most importantly, no clean builds. Bazel is also easy to specify dependencies on multiple languages, like here in this example, Java, Scala, and Groovy in one Bazel build file. One of its coolest features, though, is hermeticity, achieved by dependency graph that is based on the concept of an action. And this action is your build or test or package action, and assuming you change just these two uh, source files in your project, you only rebuild what's changed. And that can save you time because any C large, large C++ project will have thousands of these nodes in a graph. And you can even parallelize because these two sets of actions don't depend on each other. There are also uh, challenges to Bazel. 
and to generally build system adoption requires effort and expertise, and you don't typically do it unless uh, it's broken. So why do people go through the migration pain? Because modern build systems like Bazel have these cool things like APIs and tools that you can build on top of and take advantage of remote execution, analytics, and more. But what if you love your build system you, you, and you still want these cool features? We got you. Enchla partnered with TP Build to bring remote execution to CMake. And that leads to improvement in speed and cloud costs, as well as bringing the power of modern developer build systems like Bazel to all C++ developers, starting with CMake. Thank you, and reach out for more questions.